Miss Betty, there's five benefits to the types of policies that we sell that my clients love. I'm a, I'd love to share them with you real quick if that's okay. That's a trial close. That's engagement. She's gonna, they're going to say yes. That's one question. What we're going to do is we're going to tally, though, we're going to tally together the amount of question. Uh, you know what? I'm going to even call it trial closes just because that's really what, 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 what it is. I'm going to tally the amount of trial closes that we use during this section, and we've got one so far. So I'll immediately say, okay, and I'm going to write that. I'm writing this down on a piece of paper when I'm sitting with them. And, and during this, I'll need to add that I want to be in their bubble, in their space. If we're at the table, I want to go sit beside them. If they're on the, sitting in a, if they're on the couch, I want to sit beside them. If they're in a recliner, I want to go kneel on the floor beside them. I want to be in their space, in their bubble, while I'm showing them these five benefits. So I'll say, okay, let's walk through these five benefits. Miss Betty, benefit number one is a whole life, and you can make any of these up no matter what product you sell, doesn't matter. You could say, well, Cody, I sell term life insurance. Perfect. Coverage lock. So you could put whole life or you could put coverage lock. It doesn't really matter. You could even, you could, if you sell home and auto, Medicare, doesn't matter. You, you can come up with benefits, right? You can come up with five benefits. So I'm going to show you what, how I do it. I, sh I write it down, then I explain it. Miss Betty, what that means is, is that it will last your entire life. Typically, with a lot of options out there, it'll either, it'll either change every year or go down when you're 65 or they'll cut it in half or it'll only last till age 70 or age 80. There's a lot of those things out there that you definitely don't want. What's awesome and what our clients love is that it lasts your entire life and never changes, never goes down. It's always the same amount. Everything we agree on stays the same forever. Is that important to you? Do you like that? That's a trial close. There's another one. And I'm gonna do it after each one. Perfect. And then she'll say, yeah, I really do like that. Okay. Well, the second benefit, Miss Betty, is the price lock. And the reason why that's so important is there's a lot of things out there, like we talked about, you know, over the phone or through the mail or on the TV or, you know, online or in the newspaper that, that has price, that, that, that does not have a price lock. Most pol a lot of policies don't come with price locks. This one does because the price is going to be locked in for the rest of your life. It's never going to go up. It's always going to be the same and it'll never change. With a lot of policies, Miss Betty, the price will go either go up every year or every five years, or it'll go up when you hit a certain age or 60. Just be, and I'll tell them, just because you can afford whatever today doesn't mean you can afford three times that later. You know what I mean? Is that important to you? Do you like that one? There's another trial close. You get them to respond every step of the way. Benefit number three, Miss Betty, is that it pays double, and again, you can make these up along the way, but these are the five I use, double in the event of an accident. So let's just say that, that you have $25,000 in coverage. If you were to pass away by an accident, then your family, your beneficiary, your daughter Susie that you talked about earlier, would actually receive $50,000 in coverage. I'm assuming that that would probably be okay with you, am I right? That was a trial close, right? All right, Miss Betty, the fourth benefit is that it builds cash value, which is also really cool because it's like a save, savings account inside the policy. It accrues with interest and it grows. And it, should you ever need to take out a loan, it, you, sh you could and it's there. There's policies that don't come with this, but it's nice to know that it's at least available. We don't recommend you use it, but hey, it's your policy and it's there, so it's kind of cool to know that it's that this actually your policy will have this in it. Is that that's pretty cool, isn't it? Try to close number five already, and then benefit number five, Miss Betty. This one takes the longest, but I always tell them, hey, this is probably my favorite. I'm probably a little biased because I'm talking about myself right now, but Miss Betty. Benefit number five is local agent, which means let's just say that you need that, that we do that. that that you just buy from someone random, you know, through the TV or something, or through the mail. 
What do you think you need to do when you need to make minor changes or when you need to go change your bank account or your address or your beneficiary or your name or whatever? Generally, you've got to call a 1-800 number. You've got to wait on hold for a good while, maybe 40 minutes. Then you've got to, you know, sometimes you have to send emails and you have to do all these things and it's just, it's just, it's just, it's kind of annoying, right? It's kind of a burden. So what's cool about us is if you ever need to do any of this, you'll pick up the phone and call my cell phone and I'll, and I'll even snap my fingers. I'll immediately fix that for you. Burden gone. Uh, but, I'll, but I'll even add a second layer to that one. So I add one layer, then I add a second layer. Miss Betty, even more important than minor changes, when the, time that you, when the time comes that you pass away and your daughter, Susie, it's time for her to collect on your policy. She's got, she, she's grieving your life. She's got, generally, she would have, if she bought a random policy, she'd have to go through and call the 1-800 number again, wait on hold for a lot of time, talk to several different departments, get, get death certificates from the funeral home, and, and then get and then get claim paperwork sent to her in the mail and then, and then take it and get it notarized and filled out and, and then try to get all this stuff and get it sent back. And then weeks to months later, she'll, she'll eventually, hopefully, maybe get a check in the mail where what's nice to know is that if something, when something does happen, Susie, just like you can when you have changes, she picks up the phone, she calls my cell phone, and we take care of all of it for her and we take the burden away because there's a lot going on. You've got, she's got family coming in, food, arranging a funeral, all these other things. It's so much easier if we just take care of it. Clients love that. We take that huge burden off of their family's shoulders. Do you like that one as well? Guess what? That's another trial close. That's number six already, and we're not even done. Number seven trial close is you got them, you got them to allow you to do benefits. You got them to pick and, and say yes, that it was important to them, or at least that they liked it for each one. And the way you word these questions, you can tell, is really important. After you go through this, I'm going to ask another question, Miss Betty, of all five of these wonderful benefits, which one is your favorite? Which one do you like the most? Guess what? That's trial close number seven already. And if they say what, which you talked about eight million times in all these videos, if they say, I don't know, you ask a follow-up question, you say, well, hypothetically, if you had to choose, what would you say? Which one would you pick? And then they'll say, well, if I had to, I'd probably say the price lock or the local agent. Great. Those are both extremely important. There was seven trial closes before you've even showed options. Don't you think it's easier? Because what happens is you're getting them to make a decision. You're training Betty right now to make decisions every step of the way. Seven times already throughout this last eight minutes, she's made seven different decisions and agreed and said it's important and she likes it and all these things. That's why trial closing is so important. Then immediately when I get done with this, I'll say, okay, perfect, Miss Betty. I've got three options for you. And I'll say it exactly like this because it works. I've got three options for you that I know you're going to like. I even know which one you're going to pick already before you even choose, but I'll let, I'll let you choose, okay? I'm going to show you these three and I need you to pick one and tell me which one you like the most. But before I show them to you, I want you to know that these three options that I'm about to show you come with all five of these benefits, especially the price lock and the local agent, which I know you loved. All right, Miss Betty, I'm about to show you these, and I want you to tell me which one you like. And then I'll flip the paper over and show it. Miss Betty, I've got $25,000 for $125. I've got $20,000 for $100. And I've got $15,000 for $75. Which of these three are you most comfortable with? That's the close. And then you shut up until they pick. And about 80% of the time, they pick the one in the middle. Why do I lay it out like this, though? Because, and, and, then, and then when they choose, well, yeah, probably the 20,000. Okay, great. Let's, and then the, 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 the next step is, you're, you're, what you say is, 
Perfect. Great choice. That's actually the one I thought you would pick. Now, let's see if we can get you approved. What's your full legal name? Or what's your address? Or your beneficiary is, is Susie. What's her date of birth? You know, just a question to move into the application and the qualification process. The reason I do it this way, though, is I, give th I always give three options. And I do it in descending order, if you can't tell. Because if you do it, and, you, and, and, and if, if you do it ascending order, and you write 15, 20, 25, and you do it in ascending order, when you tell it, when you show it to them in ascending order, it feels like, okay, I saw 15, that's good. And it feels like, you, it, they're going to feel like you're trying to upsell them by showing them bigger options. Where instead, this way, you're showing them, hey, this is the best option and it starts to feel like you're taking it away from them at the, and that the other options pale in comparison. And so that's why I like to show three options in descending order. I like to get them to choose, make a decision, and then I immediately move into the application. This was all about showing. It's about building value. It's about presenting options, and it's about closing and getting them to choose.